You're right, babes, it's Jolene. I'm back again with another story time. I mean, I'm saying I'm back again, but you guys have two eyeballs. You can probably see that I just finished filming my last video, uh, which was how I accidentally got fisted. So if you haven't seen that, go and check that one out. If it's still up, I don't know, because I'm recording this in the past, but somehow it's like the future to you guys. I don't know. Um, don't ask me about maths, but anyway. I am going to tell you guys about the time I had been seeing someone like quite almost religiously. I shouldn't say religiously, but quite frequently is a better term. Um, so I've been seeing this guy and he didn't know I was trans like the whole time and I didn't realize. So I'll, I'll get into how that worked. So many of you probably know, like back in the day, I used to make music. I've, gotten back into making some more music that will come out at some point when it's good and ready um but back in the day i have been working on an album for a pretty like large label i had just been signed to them um they they got me onto a certain reality tv show as some like promo some like controversial promo anyway there were so many issues with that i had to buy back um the rights to that sort of stuff anyway i'm not going to get into all of that but I got signed, right, to this label. I got signed, it was one person in, in particular, like I had met him, I had met him at the casino. Um, I was with some of my friends, we were like hanging out, I meet this guy, he's like, you're like really cool, you're really interesting, like people are really like fascinated by you, like you got like an internet presence, yada yada. Um, to put into perspective, this was at a time when people actually were interested in what I was doing, not like right now. I know you guys are probably thinking uh, no one cares who you are. Well, back in the day, not a whole lot of people cared who I am, but a few more did, right? And so we would like talk, we'd like hang out, all of this stuff. I met him like with some of my friends. Let me just move this closer so I can like sit back because I've been sitting here for like I don't know, about like 20, 20 minutes. Oh, do you like that view? Is that better? But then you don't get to see the treachery off. I feel bad for her, but you do get to see my work. It's not finished. Haven't finished it in like year. I, I started painting this like five years ago, if not more, and I just like never finished it, but I'm quite proud of it. I quite like it. I'll get around to finishing it. Anyway, back to the story. So I have been yeah, we were at the casino and like we met this guy well we met a group of guys but um they were like down from sydney or up from sydney don't ask me about geography either so we're hanging out we're like drinking he's saying all this stuff he's like yeah like look like i can get you signed to a record label like do you reckon you could do music like do you reckon like what's the deal with that and i was like yeah actually like i'm real interested in doing music I previously did um, Labyrinths and Regret, which is a great song, one of the classics if you ask me. Um, but obviously like that, that drummed up like a little bit of controversy. So, you know, that was as much experience as I had. And then we were talking, we were texting. He was like, yeah, yeah, like I'll fly you over to my like office. We can like have a chat, you know, you do a little something for me, I can do a little something for you. I'm like, all right, like I'm easy. So like, what's the difference? Might as well like get something from it. So I go down there and I'm like at his office, we're like hanging out, we're like talking. And you know how like some guys are like blowjob guys? Well, this guy was a blowjob guy, right? So like there was never any requirement for me to like take my clothes off, right? And I, I wanna be clear, like at this point, I thought he knew because he was talking about like my online presence, people interested in me, yada yada. And I'm quite publicly like trans, so I didn't really think it was like a secret. But anyway, like I I did I gave him the old, you know, Monica Lewinsky, like no problem there. Loved it as they all do. And he was like, "Yeah, we can definitely uh sign ya. Like you got some talent on ya." And I was like, yeah, I sure do. So anyway, we like get signed. I'm like working on this cool album. Like it's really good. I actually still have the files for it. One day it will come out. Um, I do 
though after telling this story I might need to like be a little hesitant in putting it out because I guess people will figure out like who I'm talking about we'll see anyway but you know it would be like maybe twice a week I'd be flying down there we'd be recording we'd be like working on stuff and I'd be um I guess paying my dues if you know what I mean like giving him a bit of like lip service for lack of a better word but anyway we'd be doing that and this went on for like months well anyway we finally get like the record finished and then that's when we start discussing with like publicists and like journalists like how what we're gonna do what's what's gonna be our like best plan of attack promoters like am I gonna tour am I gonna do like live TV what's gonna happen and so anyway as we're doing that I guess is when he kind of like started talking to other people talking to like publicists and stuff and the question coming up about me being trans like that that came up like quite a bit and then he was like I remember he called me we had like scheduled a meeting to discuss like publicity and he like called me and he was like um I hope you don't find this offensive, but like a lot of people think you're a tranny and like it worked for Gaga. I reckon it could work for you. And I kind of was like, well, one, that word's like kind of offensive these days. And two, what do you mean? Like it could work for me. Like it's kind of what I've like built my whole brand on. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know it, like you've already been working it. And I was like, you do realize that like, I actually am trans. Like we're not, we can't be ambiguous about it like it's quite public knowledge and he kind of like started like stuttering and he's like oh oh what uh uh and ha and hangs up and I'm like um I guess this guy like didn't know I was trans so I like text him and I'm like babe like I thought you knew like what what's going on like surely you knew you like you were talking about me like and what I did on the internet how did you not know as well as like, do you have two working eyes and like two working ears? Surely anyone would be able to tell. But anyway, I guess he couldn't. Um, and then he like sent a message back that was like, I had no idea, like you should have like said this, like you can't do this to guys, like you can't like trick us, like you're never gonna work in music again. I can't believe you've done this. This is so humiliating, like yada yada. And I'm like, well, that's literally like not on me like you're the one first of all you're in a position of power you're trying to use that power for sexual favors at the end of the day like that's on you that's totally on you that's not on me secondly you're saying that you know all this stuff about me clearly you don't and you know maybe if you had at least attempted to return the favor you would have figured it out a bit sooner so like I don't feel bad for you at all. So anyway, he's like putting a stop to the album coming out, all of this, all of that. I'm like hearing from people like, oh, we have to drop you. Like, I'm really sorry. Like this contract's over. Like I'll give you some advice when it comes to music. Although no, I won't give this advice. So it was an at will contract, which means I could have pulled out of the contract and he could have pulled out of the contract at any time, which is something I would recommend for new artists moving forwards. Like you want that at will clause because you don't want to be tied to someone because you just never know what's going to happen. Take this for example. So anyway, I'm just really glad that he found out when he did because if the, if the album had come out and we were like promoting it and then we kind of got into some like rocky water, that would have been real bad for me. That would, that would have been like real stressful. So I'm glad that like didn't happen. But anyway, um, yeah, so he pulls out the can contracts canceled. And then I am like, well, I put in all this work, like it's not going to be for nothing. So I like call up my attorney and I'm like, we need to like, get this sorted, like we need to like get it sorted. I need to get the masters for this because at the end of the day, it's my work. I don't want him owning it. I don't want him selling it onto someone else to use and then they're successful off my hard work. You know what I mean? So anyway, we go through all of that. That takes like, honestly, over a year, about like one year and maybe two, three months. Finally, I like 
get the masters but the only thing is as a part of it i'm like not allowed to release it for like i think it's like eight years it's like a real weird number of years it's not like five years it's not like 10 years it's like somewhere in between it's like seven or eight or like six and a half something weird like that i don't really know why i think it has to do with like the length the longevity of like the previous contract like i'm not allowed to release it so i think i think we're like coming up to like when i'll be able to legally release that and when i am what i'll probably do is just like re-record it because like the vocals would obviously be different how the music was like at that time i wouldn't really want to like hold on to that sound maybe some of the songs will keep how they originally were but or maybe i'll release it as like two parts like the original and then like the re-up who knows who knows marketing genius over here i mean that's why my hair is so big it's full of marketing secrets but anyway that's the time i was um seeing and sucking off a music executive for like months without him even knowing that i was trans and it was like a shock to him and quite honestly i just feel like that's on him um and i don't really like know what he's doing these days or where he's going or what's happening with him but good for him i guess anyway if you like the video like the video subscribe comment below you know let me know what you think if you think like it's kind of his fault it's kind of on him like who do you think's in the wrong because to be honest i was under the impression he knew like i would never lead anyone to believe otherwise because like what would be the point but then in this situation if you're giving me the impression that you know i'm gonna assume you know obviously i'm older now and like even if i think they know i'm like making it clear i'm like just so you know i'm trans you know that right and they're always like yeah like that's fine it's whatever like who cares I'm like exactly but apparently this guy did because he like freaked out and pulled the contract right out from underneath me um which is why there is certain footage out there that you've probably gone looking for for me as far as my like career goes that you can't actually find because of like the legal issues and like what rights i have over it and kind of like this and that you know they always settle out of court but anyway thanks so much for watching like and subscribe you'll see me in the next video i won't see you in the next video because unfortunately that's not how pre-recorded video works thanks for watching